Hey Aquarius, rising storm here. So I'm about to do your general love reading for now until the end of uh, April 2023. Keep in mind that these are general readings. Take replies. Feel free to switch the story lights however you like, right? So I'm going to be looking to your overall being, your energies, Aquarius, the person that you're dealing with, right? Why is it all happening? And the possible outcome for now until the end of April 2023. What is going on with Aquarius and the person that Aquarius is dealing with? What is happening? Aquarius, you got the Five of Cups for the overall view. Uh, seven of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with a heavy earth sign or water sign here. Uh, show me this Five of Cups for the overall view. What is this Five of Cups about? There's some sort of loss or disappointment. So there's this energy of loss or disappointment. Hmm. There could have been some sort of sneaky energy or some sort of deceptive energy here. Seven of Swords. What is this Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords? Just clarify that for me. What's this Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords? The Three of Wands. This is waiting. Could be waiting on some sort of communication here. So there could be some sort of disappointment in regards to some sort of sneakiness or... We'll see what's going on. It could be regret as well. But what is this Seven of Cups about? Show me the Seven of Cups. Show me the Seven of Cups. What is the Seven of Cups? So it's kind of like there's this energy of wanting to change things, right? And it's like there's this confusion or different options in regards to changing the situation. So it's like there's all these options here in regards to changing. But then again, it's kind of like trying to figure out how to change the situation. Like, there's different options here in regards to changing the situation. What? What is this Four Swords in Reverse? What is this Four Swords in Reverse about? And the Sun in Reverse, yeah. There's this energy of wanting to come back around to this person. Somebody here is trying to figure out how to change the situation for you know to go in their way and there's just a lot of uh uncertainty things here with the seven of cups and then they go from there to wanting to come back around because they're very unhappy with the situation or they're unhappy without you there's this energy of wanting to return and sense of unhappiness there could be some sort of regret here as well so your person has the four pentacles. What is this four pentacles about? Clarify this four pentacles. What is this four pentacles? Someone who's holding back communication, though. Uh, they're holding back communication? What is this four pentacles? Show me this four pentacles. Clarify the four pentacles. I feel like this is someone who's still holding on. It's like this is someone who's still holding on. It's like they're holding on or the, and they're holding back at the same time. It's like they're holding on. For some of you, you could take it how it resonates. There's this energy of holding back communication. For some of you, this person could be holding back communication. And for other of you, this is someone who's holding on to communication. And for others, it's like they're holding on, but they want to communicate with you. They're holding back, but they want to like they want to communicate, and it's like the Seven of Pentacles. This is waiting. This is investing time here, and energy, but at the same time, they feel like it's a wish unfulfillment, or it's emotionally draining, or they didn't get what they wanted out of this. What is this Nine of Cups in Reverse? What's the Nine of Cups in Reverse? Yeah, because at the end of the day, this wasn't a fair. This wasn't fair. What happened? It wasn't fair. This wasn't equal. It wasn't a balanced situation. And it's kind of like, well, you know, the, the, it was emotionally draining. It was a wish unfulfillment. Like, why is it all happening? The Eight of Pentacles. So, what is this Eight of Pentacles? Show me the Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for why it's all happening. Yeah. So there's this energy of wanting to work on it, but then again, there's this energy of ignoring it. So it's like, 
they're wanting to work on the connection, wanting to put the energy and work into it, but it's like someone here is ignoring it. Two of Swords. How does uh, Aquarius see this person? How does Aquarius see this person? What well, can you tell me? How does uh, how does Aquarius see this person here? Five of Swords in reverse. Why the Five of Swords in reverse? So it's like they see you as someone that they want to reconcile with or they want to come out of conflict with, but it's like they see you as someone who's holding back a lot from doing so. So it's like they see you as someone that they want to come out of this period of conflict. They want to come together, but it's like they see you as someone who's held, who's holding back from doing so or doing that actually. How does this person see Aquarius? How does this person see Aquarius? How? The five of pentacles in reverse. Why the five of pentacles in reverse for? They see you as someone... Oh, what is this five of pentacles in reverse? They see you as some... Who? I feel like they see you as someone that they have a very strong feelings for too, Aquarius. So it's like they see you as someone that they feel like the, the, and the feelings are mutual between the two. They see... Okay. They see you as someone who wants to come back together or someone is coming back around to come back together. So it's like they know that you're wanting to be with them or wanting to come together. Clarify this Two of Cups. What is this Two of Cups? But at the same time, they see you as the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Someone who's not stable. There's a lack of stability. There could be non-committal energy here as well. So it's like they see you as someone who wants to come together, who wants, who's coming back around to try to make things work. But at the same time, it's like they see you as someone who's very non-committal or pounds with commitments. So they tend to hold back, even though I feel like there is a level of passion that they still have here or feelings here still. Excuse me. So what are Aquarius's next actions, if not yet already? What are Aquarius's next actions, if not yet already? Show me. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Why the Ten of Pentacles in reverse for? What in the world's going on here? The Devil card? Capricorn energy? Why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse to the Devil in reverse? Why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse to the Devil in reverse for their next actions? So you're freaking non-committal as hell, though. So it's like their next actions is to kind of like... They're, they're thinking they're in this energy of releasing. Or it's like their next actions is to be like, Oh, well, you know, I should release this to the Devil in reverse. Okay. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There's this energy of non-committal, being, not being committed to the situation. Uh, I don't know about this. So their next actions is to act like they are getting over this. They're very non-committal, whoever this is. They're, 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 they're really, there's problems with com co commitment. They're, they're, this person's not stable. What in the world? So what's the whole point of doing all this? It's like a show or something? What is this person's um next actions when it comes to when it comes to Aquarius? What are this person's next actions when it comes? Oh, some of you may be dealing with Aquarius. I am doing Aquarius, right? Yes, duh. <laughs> what is this person's next actions towards Aquarius? I got so distracted. So the Capricorn energy. So what are this person's next um next actions towards Aquarius? What are this person's next actions towards Aquarius? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, I don't see that. Their next actions here is to not really take any action. I don't even feel like they're in this energy of wanting to even try to be stable here. So their their next actions is to continue to be unstable. Um, continue to like not really make any moves to be very stagnant um, to not really feed this what are Aquarius's true intentions when it comes to this person 
What are Aquarius' true intentions when it comes to this person? King of Swords in reverse. Why the King of Swords in reverse? This is someone who's... It's like they they, 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 they don't... They, they're a liar. They don't speak their truth. The, their, their intentions is to act very cold, very detached. Uh, to give, like, white lies. To Their next actions is kind of like just to act like it's... They're very cold and detached, or they're going to try to be very cold and detached. There's very mixed energy. One minute it jumps from one minute to the next. One minute they're trying to figure out what to do, and the next minute they're acting like they don't care, or they're lying, or they're turning their back, or not coming together. There, There's a third-party situation, or their next actions is... I don't know if there could have been someone else involved in here, but their intentions is to act like they don't care, uh, turn their back when it comes to this, not really come together in an emotional way. Oh. It's like it goes from like one one extreme to the next. <coughs> what is this person's true intentions when it comes to Aquarius? What is this person's true intentions when it comes to Aquarius? Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, the judgment. So it's kind of like you're making this judgment call not to really come together with this person. You're making a decision to not really connect with this person like you once did. So the judgments of the Ten of Cups in reverse, that's like making a decision not to, you know, repeat this again. It's like there's a decision here where you're just like, you know what, I'm not going to feed this emotionally or I'm not going to entertain the idea of having it all with this person. Uh, what's the possible outcome for the situation here? What's the possible outcome for the situation from now until the end of April? What can you tell me? The Hermit in reverse. The Six of Swords in reverse. And the Magician. Why is all this happening? The Hangman. So things are at a standstill. Clarify the Hermit in reverse. What is this Hermit in reverse about? Ten of Swords. So it's like they come back around. This is someone who comes back around. Why the Ten of Swords? I don't know if this is someone who's watching you or keeping tabs. What is the Six of Swords in reverse? What is the Six of Swords in reverse about? What is this magician? Clarify the magician. It's very... Uh, it's very Scattered. They, so there's this energy of what? Show me the hermit in reverse one more time. So it's like I get, I get, I get this energy of return or coming back around, but there's this energy of pushing away or somebody pushes someone away due to whatever it is that happened. It's like you know this. There's this energy of well, you know what? This is ended. There was a betrayal here. You come back around, and it's like I'm gonna push you away. What is this Six of Swords in reverse? It's like I'm getting this person coming back around, knowing that they're unstable, knowing that this is someone who messed things up or they betrayed you. But it's like, what is this Four of Wands in reverse? It's like they come back around with the same thing. They come back around only to be consistently unstable. All right. I don't feel like you're going to be opening yourself up to this person and so the to the point where it's kind of like you're feeling, somebody here is feeling stuck in regards to making this work. So it's like somebody here is making this work knowing that it's already dead. And it's like they're trying to make this work and it's like they feel stuck in regards to doing so. That's why things are so stagnant. Why is the hangman there? Show me the hangman. Clarify the hangman. Yeah, the lovers in reverse. This is a connection that's just no longer how it used to be. The lovers talks about a decision as well. But it's like, yeah, things are just really stagnant, okay? I just feel like somebody here is trying to make things happen, feeling stuck as to do so. You're, you know, I don't feel like that's going to get anywhere. But that was your reading. If it resonated, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching and God bless.